out of Gold, where an outdoor nursery was raided by Sacramento County Sheriff's deputies today. They found thousands of marijuana plants behind the business. As CBS 13's Kelly Ryan reports for us tonight, weapons were also seized and the number of arrests were made. Well, more than a half million dollars in marijuana. That is what a Connecticut man is being held for in Maryland tonight after state police find more than 100 pounds of the drug in his car. The 24 pounds of marijuana seized along I-95 and now in the hands of Maryland State Police. It's rare that we get 100 pounds. Just after 5 o'clock Saturday night, a state trooper spots a minivan speeding near White Marsh in Baltimore County. State police say this is the van the 67-year-old was traveling in. And once troopers pulled him over, they immediately knew something was suspicious. Called the biggest drug bust in the Jefferson County history, at least in the last 25 years, according to the sheriff's office. Investigators estimate the operation to be worth an estimated $100,000, with more than 40 marijuana plants and 80 packages of weed ready for distribution. An exclusive look inside what once held more than 40 marijuana plants and at least 80 bags of weed ready to be distributed. Looking at the aftermath, you can still see expensive heating lamps hanging in the two grow rooms equipped with piping along the ceiling to irrigate the growing plants. Each room had its own temperature gauge. Sheriff Gary Hutchins says in his 27 years on the job, this was a first. It's about 100 homes across the Sacramento region are under close watch by the FBI. This is federal agents conducted a two day operation and raided homes suspected to be illegal marijuana grows. So far, federal agents have seized more than 60,000 marijuana plants and more than $100,000 in cash. No arrests have been made, but authorities say they are targeting a criminal enterprise from China. They believe is behind the spike in illegal residential growth. The garage appears to be kicked in, the door forced open. They left all the windows open when no one was home, so they were airing it out for some reason. The man wished to remain anonymous, but said the home was up for sale about six months ago and was purchased recently. Look at all that marijuana. More than 24,000 plants confiscated by San Bernardino police and the feds. The stash looks like something a drug lord would own, but police say the face behind this operation is no El Chapo. Instead, ran by 43-year-old Stephanie Smith from the ritzy area of Pacific Palisades. revealed a mega pot grow with employees, guards, gates, and a missing business permit for this type of establishment. Police say Smith wasn't authorized to grow marijuana on this scale. A red unsafe sign was posted on the building. Smith was questioned Tuesday at her coastal home about what police say could result in a misdemeanor, jail time, and a fine at the state level. Finally tonight, seeing isn't always believing. Anna Werner found that that oil truck or school bus you pass on the highway might actually be a front for drug runners. Drug traffickers showed they could mimic the postal service or fake overnight delivery with a FedEx truck to carry their product through South Texas. So you see the hydraulic device there. Sheriff T. Michael O'Connor has even seen a Halliburton oil tanker used. He says if you can think of it, they can clone it. Jorge Medina first stumbled upon the problem in 2007. He got into a car chase with what looked like a Texas Department of Transportation truck. It finally spun out. It had flipped over. And there were black bundles scattered all over. It held nearly a ton of marijuana. Police don't know how many clone vehicles are on the road, but Sheriff O'Connor counts at least 15 seized in the region, carrying 10 tons of marijuana since 2007. More than a ton of pot with an estimated street value of $3 million. Well, the county's top cop calls it Rockdale County's largest marijuana bust ever. And much of the weed was discovered at a warehouse situated right in the middle of a neighborhood filled with families. Well, 
On Old Covington Road, a battered neighborhood watch sign appears to have a watchful eye on this warehouse where 37 bundles of marijuana were confiscated. Next door neighbor, Trisha Jackson, had no idea so much pot was nearby. I wouldn't have guessed that in a million years. That is crazy so much. But that was less than half of the more than 2,000 pounds confiscated by the Rockdale County Sheriff's Office and Conyers Police. It was a multi-month drug investigation with surveillance on the warehouse. Suspicious activity, we're told, led to a traffic stop on a van last Thursday. That led to Storm here getting to work. Look at this. All of this pot found inside one semi truck, 20,000 pounds worth. Border Patrol calling it the biggest bust in our state's history. This is a huge bus. Take a look. 18 pallets filled with marijuana. This is the equivalent to more than four Tahoes, and Customs and Border agents are calling this a huge win for border security. Agents say they noticed something extremely suspicious about this truck that was coming in with this shipment of Mexican squash. When they took a closer look, they found the load of marijuana inside, and they're calling this a risky move by the cartel.